guys, here we are. Um, get to do an oil change on my pickup. And I've been doing them, but I haven't ever filmed them. Because they can get difficult and oily and... Uh, anyway. Um, but I figured I'd do a little instructional how-to here. Now, obviously, the wind is picked up. Um, of course, you need your oil your oil drain pan, your oil filter, and if you so choose, your Lucas. Okay, and another thing I like to use is a carpet to lay on. And if you all watch the video, this is the carpet from my 72 Bronco. And then I've got my rags and my wrenches, and it's really windy. So this might end up being a bad idea, but anyway, we'll get to it. Okay guys, and we are underneath my pickup. Obviously that's the oil filter in a really easy location on the 460. And then there is my drain plug. I know everything's upside down, but you do what you gotta do. Okay, now the first thing that you do in an oil change, you wanna pop your drain plug loose and basically you know you can use a wrench or a ratchet whichever you want and you know, I better make sure that my little pans in the right place it's got oil everywhere wonderful anyway Let's see. okay and we are draining now it's always good practice when you're doing an oil change to make sure you've got the engine warm to begin with and the purpose of that is so that you can get all of the the dirt and toxins and things that sit in the bottom of the pan once it cools down you can tell here that we've got it you know to a good steady drip so as soon as I find my plug here I'm going ahead and stick the plug back in and continue to the filter Good and tight is always a good method for drain plug. You don't want to get it too tight. You don't want to leave it loose. So we got the drain plug back in. We'll move to the filter. Okay, guys. Now time to get the filter. Uh, usually it takes a wrench, filter wrench, to get off. But I got a pretty strong grip, so I usually don't use one. Okay, gotta bust the loose. And hey, looky there. Went straight into the pan this time. The last thing I want is oil to get all over my carpet, so I'm gonna go on ahead and stop recording so that I can use both hands. Okay, and we got that old filter off. Um, another good practice is to take a rag and clean around where that seal where the gasket of the of the filter meets up and you just want to clean it off in case you got any dirt or anything like that on it the process of pulling that filter off okay guys the next thing that you want to do is prime that gasket on your new filter so you just get a dab of oil and you go around in a Little ring like that. Kind of difficult to do while filming. Let's see. Yeah, I got it good enough. And then we're ready to put it back on. Okay, guys, I have it screwed on, and we're just gonna give it a few extra cranks to get it tight enough. I'm going ahead and use my rag to clean it up here, because uh, it just looks better that way. Now on oil filters, when you're tightening them down, you don't want to get them as tight as you possibly can because uh, it could mess up the seal. You don't want to leave them too loose because it won't seal. So I just gave it probably three extra good cranks after it was started to, to seal. and I can still go more if I want, but we'll leave it there. So now I just got to clean up this oil 
run off and we'll be ready to put oil in it. Okay guys, so now we're under the hood and uh, the first thing that I want to put in is my Lucas oil treatment. And usually if you have any kind of additive that you're going to pour in, your oil change. You always want to pour the additive in first on top of the oil. And then you pour in your oil. Um, the biggest reason for that is so that you don't pour too much oil in. You know, because you put it to the full line and then you pour your treatment in, it can overfill it and that's bad. Now if any of y'all have ever used this Lucas, this stuff pours like honey. It's real, real thick, and you can see it collecting there in my uh, in my funnel, and it's just pouring out like honey. So we'll go on ahead and let that uh, do its thing. Okay, guys, and what I've done now is I poured some oil into this Lucas bottle here because uh, I wanted to get all of it. Um, so I just poured some oil in there and shook it up and just gone ahead and squirt her in there. I probably should have taken the lid off, but oh well, what are you going to do? And now we add oil. Whoa. That stuff is making a mess. Okay guys, got her full of oil. Now we do a startup. Wait for the oil pressure to come up. And we have oil pressure. Sweet. Okay, guys, and uh, that's that's it. Ended up taking six quarts, five quarts of oil plus the Lucas, and we are good to go. Adios.